Hi, my name is Latoya. I took Lumi Wealth's live algorithmic trading course, the pre-recorded options trading course, and I'm signed up to take the machine learning and data science course later this month. I'm a pharmacist by training. I have no previous background or experience in coding. As far as finance goes, I was primarily a long-term buy and hold investor until about a year before taking the course when I began to learn more about options and day trading. I was by no means profitable consistently in my day trades. I found that with my full-time job, there was limited time for me to get enough chart time to get better at trading since my work hours typically overlapped with market hours for options trading. I started to see advertisements for Looney Wealth and it was really attractive due to the ability to build algorithms to trade without constant input from me and to be able to take some of the emotions out of trading, which was really tanking a lot of my trades. I loved the class. I was intimidated by the fact that I did not have any coding experience and was wondering whether or not I would really be able to go from zero knowledge to creating a bot within that 12 week time frame of the course. But Lumi Wealth guarantees that you will be able to create a bot or not only do they refund you, but they pay you something like $600. So I was pretty confident about that. I joined some of the free webinars before I signed up for the courses. And I also joined their free Discord community before signing up and booked a call with them to, to discuss the courses. So I was really impressed by the knowledge base of the instructors during the free webinars and how responsive everyone was when I asked questions during the call and in the Discord community, they answer questions very quickly in the Discord channels. The courses also have lifetime access. So when there are updates to the course material or when there are updates to LumiBot, which is pretty often, you continue to have access with each new version of the course. So all of that combined is ultimately what sold me on taking the course. When taking the course, Robert provided a lot of supplementary resources for us to enhance our Python knowledge for those of us who had little to no coding experience, which in the class I was in was the majority of us. I used those resources while taking the course. So the resources would explain some concept and then the algorithmic trading course, we would learn the same concept again, but explained in a different way and in a way that was more relevant to how you would actually utilize those, to those topics in relation to finance, which is ultimately what we were all there for. So I found that method to really make it easy to learn Python and taking the course live where I could ask questions on the spot with topics I was struggling in was really valuable as well. The other thing that was a game changer was being able to schedule office hours whenever we needed it. I'm not typically someone who likes to ask for help, but Robert always encouraged us to schedule office hours if we needed it. If we had a question that was specific to our bot, a question that couldn't be answered during the live class because it would take too long, he would encourage us to book a call with him. So the first time I booked a call, I had been stuck on the same problem for weeks. Robert was able to resolve it literally within a matter of minutes. And I found that to be a regular pattern. I didn't wait weeks for future calls, but problems that I found, I would Google a solution, I would look on Stack Overflow or YouTube, and if I still couldn't resolve it, I would book a call and I would get on the call and Robert would resolve the issue very quickly, the vast majority of the time. So that really helped me to continue to make progress and keep up motivation because if I'm constantly getting stuck on minor issues without any resolution in sight, then it's not fun or interesting anymore to me. And it would make me not want to continue. So those office hours were really key. And they, they don't end when the course ends. You can continue to book office hours even after the course is over. The other thing that was helpful about the course was teaching us how to solve problems on our own. So when we do get stuck, what are the steps we can take to figure out exactly where the problem is and how can we decode those error messages to resolve the issue? We had some live classes where we would make bots from scratch. He would show us exactly how to walk through from scratch, coding and debugging along the way so you don't get to you know, a hundred or more lines of code before you ever test to see to make things make sure things are working. So it was helpful to see how you start from the ground up building code.
The class has helped me tremendously in two ways. The first is a bot I was able to build during the course. I am a part of several Discord communities for traders, and some of them will give out buy and sell signals with good results. I wanted to be able to take advantage of those buy and sell signals, but you don't ever know when they're going to come in. So when you have a full-time job that occurs during normal trading hours, it's not possible to take advantage of those signals the vast majority of the time. And then even if you can take advantage of getting into a trade, if it's a swing trade, you, you know, when they're intending to get out of the trade, you might be working, you're busy during that time. So it's really hard to consistently um, gain profit off of manually following buy and sell signals. So I created a bot that retrieves those messages from Discord, parses through them to get the relevant content, and then submits the trades accordingly. So I'm going to do a walkthrough of that bot. It starts off by importing the relevant library. This code runs every second. And then the first function is to sell expiring orders. So it will look at what positions I have open and then see if any of those positions are expiring today. Since there's options contracts, I want to make sure that I don't have any positions that expire in the money and then um, are exercised. I don't want to exercise any options. So it will check to see if I have an option that exists that is expiring today, and then if it's after 2 p.m., then it will sell those options contracts. And I can change that time to be whatever time if I feel that that's not working out for me. The next function is going to be to retrieve messages. So this is really the key function. I have a CSV file with NASDAQ stock symbols. Then I have the function to retrieve my messages from Discord. I put it in a data frame. I parse through it to get the relevant information that I need to create an asset uh, for an options contract. So I get the symbol. I get whether it's a call or a put. I get the strike price. I get the expiration date. I get the limit price. And I make sure that it is within a certain time frame. I don't want to get old signals. So for this, I have it. I'm only getting Discord messages from the last five minutes. So all of that is put into um, a data frame. And then I have a create positions data frame. So this is retrieving information from my brokerage account to show what positions I have, what positions I'm in, what positions have been filled. So for those positions, what's the symbol? How many contracts do I own? Um, what's the expiration date? What's the entire asset? What's the strike? What's the right? All the information from position. I'm going to check to see what open orders I have, so which ones have not been filled yet. And then I'm going to put that in a data frame as well. So all of this creates an open orders data frame with all of the relevant information that I need. And then a lot of times, analysts who give out buy and sell signals will reliably give out a buy signal, but they feel that it might be up to you sometimes to manage your own trade. So you don't necessarily know what the target price is. Um, you, don't, you don't have a lot of information about what their logic is for entering certain trades. And they don't always tell you when they got out of a trade. So this checks the uh, positions that I'm in, sees whether or not there's a stop order associated with it, and if there's not a stop order associated with it, then it will place a trailing stop. So I can make sure that I'm not risking the entire amount of the options contract or if the options go up a lot in price and then start coming back down, that I'm able to lock in some of the profit there. 
The next thing it does is just goes through the data frame that I created when I um, went through the retrieve messages function and it sets a lot of those variables that I need to create an options contract. This part of the code uh, sets how many contracts I'm going to buy based off of the limit price and based off of how much cash I have in my account and um, based off of whether or not the analyst says that it's a risky trade or a lotto. And then this part of the code just goes through with actually initiating the buy and sell signals. So if if my coding log logic says that this signal is a buy signal, then it will go through. It will see whether or not I already have um, positions for that contract, whether or not I already have any open orders pending for that contract. And if I don't have any positions open, if I if I don't have any positions pending either, then it will create the options asset and submit the order. And this is commented out right now, but if it was not commented, then it would also text to me to tell me that the order was placed. If the I've determined through the logic and retrieve messages that the action is to trim, then again, it will check to see if I have that position, if I have a pending order to trim already. And if I have that position and I don't have a pending trim order, then it will go through and it will place that trim order. So I will lock in profits for a portion of the contracts that I have. And then if I've determined that the action is to sell, it will determine again whether or not I even have that position open. And if I am in that position, then it will sell the remaining contracts that I have at market price. And on filled order, just um, logs messages to state the action that occurred. Again, if I did not have this commented out, then it would also text me to tell me that an order was filled. So that's it um, for that code. It's really helpful because even if I was sitting here all day, you know, if I did not have a full-time job and I was sitting at my computer all day, just waiting for buy and sell signals, the time that it takes me to put in a signal could be, you know, 30 seconds, could be a minute, could be a couple of minutes, take how long, it depends on, you know, what trading platform I'm on and um, how long it takes me to find the options contract. When my bot gets the signal right, um, it's a matter of seconds. Within one second, within two seconds at the most, that order will go through. So I can never put those orders in as fast as my bot can put it in. The other way the course has helped me is that it got me a new job. Like I mentioned, I'm a pharmacist. I combined the skills that I learned in this course with my healthcare background to get a new position at a federal public health agency that I've wanted to work at for almost a decade. My role there will be utilizing Python and other coding languages to automate tasks for other employees in the office. So I'm really excited to start that soon. And that never would have happened without taking this course. I primarily told them about my experience in building projects for this course specifically. And that's how I got hired to, to take on this new role. So that will only enhance my ability to code with Python and be able to build better bots and be able to improve on the bots that I already have in the future. I would absolutely recommend the new role classes to others. I already have several times. The knowledge and skills you gain from taking these courses can really set you up for success in a number of different ways. <laughs>